Hi guys, welcome to the episode of Ebook Cooks. Now I understand that you guys haven't seen me for some time already. Yeah, I'm sure I miss you guys as well also. But the thing is, unlike uh, other talented people like Ting and Kiara, I can't set up the camera as well as them. So I need to come back to the office and shoot the rest of the crew over here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very excited to share with you this easy to make pasta recipe. It takes like, from start to finish, 20 minutes. And the best part is you only use one pan only. So this recipe is inspired by a carbonara pasta. I know that Ting and Adrian did the video previously. But it's not the authentic carbonara pasta. Uh, we did a few variations, we changed it up a bit. But the most important thing we changed a bit is we add this stracha chili sauce over here. It has loads of flavor and it's gonna add a lot of spiciness to our pasta. Okay, so let's get started. Here are all the ingredients that we've been using. We're gonna start by bringing one liter of water to boil in a frying pan. By using a frying pan, we use less water to cook the pasta the pasta water will be more concentrated with starch and that makes it easier to thicken our sauce later. We're gonna season the water with some salt. Uh, after we season it with salt, we're gonna bring it up to a boil and then we're gonna toss in our pasta. There are many different types of pasta but the one we're using today is fettuccine pasta because it's slightly broader and fatter so that it can soak up all the nice thick sauce. So once the pasta is cooked, we're gonna remove the pasta and we're gonna save one cup of water from this pasta water. So this pasta water is gonna be full of nice starchiness. So now that the pasta is cooked, we're gonna prepare our egg and cheese mixture. So we're gonna start with 50 grams of our cheese and then we're gonna start grating. The cheese that we're using is Grana Padano. So it's a milder version of Parmesan. But the most important thing when you're choosing the type of cheese is to make sure that it's a hard cheese. The pre-shaved cheese that you use, they contain all additives that prevent the cheese from clumping up together. After that, we're going to add one whole bake to it as well and we're going to mix everything up really nicely until it looks like a nice thick sauce to it. Now we're going to take our pan and we're going to wrap it clean and then we're going to add our chopped bacon to it. There's no need to make sure that it's super hot. In fact, it's even better if you use it cold because when the pan is cold, you make sure the bacon fat renders out easier. So once the bacon turns golden brown, we're going to add in the noodles and the cheese and egg combination. And we're just going to give it a nice stir to coat the noodles with the sauce. And then we're going to add a bit of the pasta water. So at this point, I'll make sure that you're turning off the heat as well because you want to overcook the eggs. So once you think everything looks nice and good, you can finish up the seasoning with some salt and pepper. Then you just serve it up in a nice little pasta bowl. This is it. This is my favorite chili sauce, which is the stracha chili sauce. It's very spicy and gives a lot of flavor to the pasta as well. So you might have realized that every time we cook in the office, there will be people to taste the food. But because uh, everyone's working from home now, so only I can taste it and the crew behind. Let's see how it tastes like. I think what's so special about this dish is that the creaminess of the pasta goes really well with the spicy chili. There's a nice bit of uh, vinegar to the chili as well. So it's a nice mix of like sour, spicy and creamy flavors. So yeah, and the bacon as well, it gives a nice extra bit of fatty flavor to it. Okay, hello. Hi, how are you? No one ever see you? Yeah, no one ever see you! Cause yeah. he, okay, wait, firstly, right, Super was gone for them long because he went to Europe before that. Yeah, then after that, he was serving the stay home notice when he came back. And then, circuit breaker immediately happened. So we didn't see him for, I think, long close time. to three months. Eh. And then. to see the rest of the team? Yes, yeah. it's been so long. Okay, I'm quite excited to try because I personally love spicy food. So I'm looking forward to the Shiracha pasta. I actually like it spicy because you know carbonara sometimes when you eat too much like after you eat for a while right, you'll start to get a bit jelak because of the cheese and the egg and everything but this is something that I feel like as I eat right it gets more and more appetizing yeah, because of the vinegar yeah. the sour but quite spicy now the more the more chili I scoop up the more spicy it gets no lah your spice tolerance not that high <laughs> right <laughs> but very fun when you, do the, when you do the chili right then you can do the you know, fun <laughs> Someone thinks that he's cool while well, he does it. Yeah. Do you think he's cool? Leave in the comments down below if you think he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think personally, I prefer bacon to be slightly softer, like not super crispy, because this one is like really rendered until it's crispy. So when you bite into it, right, there's the fattiness, like there's no chew to the fat. Have you all come out already? What's going on? Okay, so we have Jiayan over here, so she's the producer over here. So she makes the food look good. 
and uh, yeah, it's responsible for all the cool effects. So okay, try that for it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know about the existence of shiracha sauce until to this shoot. So I'm quite curious how your taste like. I think the shiracha sauce complements the carbonara sauce really well, and like it's not so spicy. The good thing about this recipe is that you can adjust the spice level accordingly to your preference. So if you like spicier food, you can just add a lot more shiracha sauce. I think this recipe is very easy to make. Like. All you need is just one pan and then all the ingredients, you can just get it easily from the supermarket. Overall, I thought it was quite a success because considering that we took just like 20 minutes really from the start all the way to the finish. And yeah, you can say it was a success. And the best part is actually, the almost the best part is the cleaning. So there's literally no cleaning at all. Just wash one pan only. So uh, usually after we do like a lot of shoots in, in the office where we cook, then we like clean up. We spend more time cleaning over cooking actually. So yeah, it really helps you know, just one pan. Hope you guys can try at home. As usual, when you guys cook our food, we get super excited. So you can tag us on ebook on Instagram. And yeah, you know, I love to see all the different types of food that you guys share with us. Yeah. Especially uh, Kiara, she likes to see all the nice food. Thank you for watching this episode of ebook Cooks. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the other videos over there. And as usual, please like, share and subscribe. Bye!